Hey guys, um, today in this video what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use some litmus paper and uh, I'm going to put this litmus paper into some different substances that I collected um, uh, either in the lab or from the supermarket um, and we'll see whether or not these things are acids or if they're bases. You can see I've set my chemicals up here with a plastic cup that I've labelled. Um, first we've got some distilled water. Uh, then some Evian mineral water, then we've got milk, then lemonade, lemon juice, washing up liquid, and finally a degreaser. So to test with litmus paper, what you do is you take the paper, I'm just going to dip it in our sample of our liquid. Um, if it is an acid, it will turn red, if it is a base or an alkali, it will turn blue. And if it's neutral, it will stay the same color. So let's just test this distilled water. You can see that it stayed the same color, and so this is neutral. There are two kinds of litmus paper. Um, we've got red litmus paper, which can test if something's uh, basic or alkaline, um, because it will turn blue. Um, or we've got blue litmus paper, which will turn red if it's an acid. Um, so let's test all the things. Um, I'll test with red litmus paper first, um, and then we'll see if we get a blue colour change, then we know that that's going to be an alkali or a base. Okay, let's have a go. First, we're going to taste the distilled water, and we can see that we've got no change. Then the mineral water. Maybe that's going a little bit blue. We've got our milk now. Again, looks like it's going a little bit blue. Our lemonade, no change. Lemon juice. No change there. Washing up liquid. No change. And this degreaser, um, which I picked because when I saw it in the shop, it had this corrosive warning label on it. So I was um, pretty sure it would be quite strong. Let's test this. And look, that's quite strongly alkaline, got a really nice blue color there. I think what's really interesting for me is that the distilled water is clearly red on the litmus paper and the mineral water is clearly blue. So um, this is quite an interesting result. Uh, hopefully we can understand why this is later. Right, we're going to repeat the experiment with the blue litmus paper now. So in the distilled water, no change. So look, if we see here, we've got that the red litmus paper is red and the blue litmus paper is blue. So this means that it's not an acid and it's not a base. So therefore, this distilled water must be neutral. Right, this mineral water, no change. So this is blue and blue. Here we go, milk. No change. So again, we've got blue and blue. Lemonade. This one's changed red, so we've got red and red. Lemon juice has changed red, so we've got red and red. Washing up liquid. This has changed red, so again, we've got red and red. And here for my really nasty corrosive degreaser, yep, that stayed blue, so we've got blue and blue. All you guys need to do is work out if it's an acid or a base, uh, or if it's neutral. Um, remember, if it's an acid, then the litmus will turn red. Um, if it is uh, a base or an alkali, then um, uh, the litmus paper will turn blue. And uh, if it's neutral, it's not an acid or a base, then um, uh, there will be no color change.